Hello and welcome to Nikolai's genetics lessons. Few days ago I got a problem from one of my subscribers and uh, basically uh, that subscriber cannot convert absolute numbers to ratios. For example, 153 plants of one phenotype and uh, 119 plants of the other phenotype. And that person cannot convert uh, these absolute numbers in ratios, by the way this is 9 to 7 ratio, if that person would be able to do it, she would be able easily to find my videos about 9 to 7 phenotypic ratios explained and would be able to solve the problem. So I think I have to make a video about how to convert absolute numbers to ratios and vice versa, so this wouldn't be an obstacle for you in order to solve a problem. So here is today's problem. If there were 77 plants that produce red and white flowers with 7 to 4 ratio of red to white, how many red producing flowers would there be and how many plants would produce white flowers? As usual, I recommend you to pause the video here, try to solve this problem on your own first and when you would be ready you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. We have a 7 to 4 ratio here, so let's say that 7x and x here would be a constant of the uh, ratio plus 4x and this would equal to 77. So now we can combine 7 and 4, so this is going to be 11x on the left side would equal to 77. And it is easy to find that x would equal to 77 divided by 11, so x would equal to 7. And now if we know the ratio 7 to 4 plants that produce red and white flowers, now we can easily find absolute numbers which would be uh, for red 7 multiplied by uh, 7 would give us 49 red flowers and we also have to multiply 4 by 7 and this would give us 28 white flowers. And this is going to be our answer today. Now when you know the flow of logic you can go from ratios to absolute numbers and backwards from absolute numbers to ratios. I hope that uh, my explanation would help you on your exam and you would be able to solve many uh, genetic problems where you would be given weather ratios or absolute numbers. So now I hope this wouldn't be a problem for you. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. Share this video with your classmates. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.